diving now into other investigations of a more general existential nature. It's an observation that everything which exists in the world as I know it is generally speaking always in movement and all of it seems to happen in the same space and in interesting ways it all seems to influence everything else as a part of that space and from everything we can see with or without tools it appears that the space size-wise is so big that we cannot see the end of it. <laughs> At the moment we can see something we call water and something we call light here appearing as moving on the water the source of which is something we call the sun now as far as I know nobody has ever traveled to the sun. It's supposed to be a very difficult practical task to perform as the sun is very far away and very warm. In fact, it's so warm that even though it is far away, I can now, as I'm saying these words, feel its heat. I can feel a heat as a sensation which directly touches my presence and is felt in the body. And it's actually quite wonderful so just this example alone of how this something which we call the sun being so far away can nevertheless enable all of this life as I'm currently experiencing it to take place demonstrates an example of how even across long distances in this space various influences and I have memories of late nights when I have watched up to what is called the starry skies and seen also this kind of light 
apparently from even larger burning constellations in even greater distances unthinkably greater distances from all the calculations of the people who have observed it closely and when I'm standing here on the surface of this planet and seeing this starlight and taking in the visual impression of it with my eyes it is clear that the influences in this space can move across vast distances far beyond the size of my body and far beyond a billion times the size of my body and also it can be seen clouds which I've heard is drops of liquid in formations moving across high up in the air and in that air the air is moving itself and full of particles and from what I've heard there are living beings units and constellations both beneath this moving surface of water as well as above it. There are even forms of life right on the surface of the water. So from all this seems to follow that this life that I'm participating in at the present moment is immensely rich. It is great in size and in scope and apparently there can be direct contact between even units at immense unthinkable distances what is more than this I have also been told that every part of this reality which is here being perceived and which is clearly real in itself while this perception is still only a limited part of this whole real thing that every part of it is made up of even smaller particles from what has been said the particles are even so small that the eye has no chance of seeing them and even these small particles are entire societies of yet smaller particles and in these societies of particles there is even smaller societies of particles and it goes so deep down that even the strongest microscopes cannot see it 
and from what they say about the calculations, even at the very smallest levels, what they call the atomic levels, there may be as much as 99% empty space between the yet smaller particles and also continuous movement among these particles. So what then seems to be the case is that we're dealing here with a space which is unbelievably large and also filled with an unbelievable amount of constellations and particles and phenomena and where all of these are also in continuous movement all of them together in the same space and even me sitting here now I am myself such a constellation and I am myself built up of smaller constellations and particles all of them moving together all at the same time and I can even notice that the exact state of affairs inside of me is also shifting from moment to moment the thoughts are shifting and the sounds around are shifting and the light is shifting moment the light is so bright that I have to keep my eyes closed and even with my eyes closed there are still bright lights so even though that burning ball may be far away its influence is very noticeable from the point I am now observing then it occurs to me that also there are loads of other stuff going on in the same room And all of them are going on together in the same room. So everything seems to be much richer, much vaster and more magnificent. I'd ever thought was possible.
and I'm actually experiencing this. Pretty awesome. Awesome in itself. So there seems to be a lot more to be seen in this investigation. <laughs>